What's your, your overall thoughts on the game today? Well, I mean, it's it sucks to lose. I mean, that's that's the thing. Um, I thought the kids competed. Uh, I thought they played their tails off. Um, I thought they showed a lot of. I thought they showed a lot of tenacity, intensity. We played a tremendously physical football game against a very, very talented football team that's an all-senior team. Um, you know, I, I wish we hadn't made a couple of the mistakes we made because a couple of them that we, we just we don't make those mistakes. But we made it. We made them today. We made them against a really good team, and they made us pay. I mean, that was the two big plays in the first half. Um, you take those those mistakes away right there, and it's a completely different situation. So, um, you know, you can say the same thing about the execution on offense. I mean, you, you made a lot of plays today that, you know, we, we've seen ourselves not make, you know, in, in the last several weeks. And um, that team, we can I can grow. You know, that team, we can make those we can make those corrections, and we can we can get better from. And I, I told them that that's what we expect of each other. You know, they need to expect. They need to expect the same of me. I need to expect the same of them. I mean, it's, I have unbelievable kids, unbelievable. They're, they're, they make my life brighter every single day. And I love them. And uh, I appreciate the way they competed today because that, that should be the standard for us each week. You touched on a little bit, but you had so many guys make plays that perhaps hadn't made them in previous weeks, and that's got to be encouraging. Well, I just I just wanted to gain confidence from it. That's all, I, I, because you know I expect Jalen to play like that every week, and and he's been disappointed. I've been disappointed, and you know we he puts pressure on himself. I, I want him to get confidence from his performance today, and you know because you know it, it stinks. It's it stinks to lose the ball game. That's it. And but if we can continue to 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 play at that level, week in week out, and we continue to gain confidence from those plays and continue to you know, make better decisions. Then all of a sudden you go look up and you win those ball games. I mean, yes, UTSA is a very good team. They beat us today. They were better than us today, no doubt. But, you know, we make a few plays different here, a few plays different there. It's a different ball game. And, you know, that's that's what we have to do. We have to. We have, we have to continue to push ourselves to improve. Did you see this type of offensive performance coming from you guys? Just in, I don't know, anything leading up in practice? Well, I mean, to be honest, for the last couple of weeks. And that's what's so frustrating about last week. Last week blew me away. We had a great week of practice. I thought we were ready to play, and we went out and laid an egg. And it, it just pisses me off. Just Today, they finally took some of the stuff from practice to game day. Um, I, I hate it we didn't get a win. Um, but uh, but at, at least we saw a little bit of what we've seen during the week today on game day. UTSA has some explosive plays in the yeah. first half. What yeah. were they doing to be so successful to follow up that? Uh, what was the message to the defense at halftime? Because y'all limited the damage in the second half defensively. Well, we, sh we shouldn't have given up the freaking two big plays in the first half. What it is? They were Rocco, which I I tried to get Rocco to come wear uh, purple and gold a long time ago, but you know the the long runs on the counter, and it, we we see counter every week. We see counter every day in practice. We, our our team runs counter. We misfit it. He's an explosive runner, and it's a 70-yard touchdown. He made his pay. You know, the the big long play to, to uh, number two Cephas. It's, it's just a, it's just a, a wheel route. That's all it is. You know, the safety was not in position. Didn't see him. He's not there, so he's he's wide open. It, you know, that's a 80 80 yard play. You know, that's you take those two away, and it's it's a different score at halftime. And so you know, all we said to the defense was, look, this is this is all it was. Like, oh, God. I mean, and they, they, they hate it. I mean, it, it, they, they could kill themselves for it, you know, because they make that play every day. And so uh, that, that's the thing. We, it, wasn't, it wasn't like waving a magic wand. It's just their resiliency because they didn't hang their head. They got pissed off about it. And then they went out and they made the play the next I mean, they ran counter. I don't know how many times today. They popped it on us once. But the one time they popped it on us, it cost us. What did you like out of Alex today? I feel like he just he hung in there, you know, took a lot of shots, but hung in, made some throws, ran hard. Well, I mean, what did you like out of him? And some of the shots were his fault. I mean, that's I think he showed a lot of toughness, a lot of guts. I mean, I thought he made some really, really good plays today. I thought he showed some really good things scrambling and running the ball. Um, and I told him, I said, here's the thing that stinks about being the quarterback. There's a half a dozen plays today that were decisions by him that's the difference between winning and losing. But that's the pressure of being quarterback. You know, it's the, it's the same thing. If you don't want to be, if you don't want to have all the all the you know the blame on you every time a game doesn't go 
a, a certain way, then don't be the quarterback, don't be the head coach, don't be the offensive coordinator because that's like that's what goes with it. Okay. So, but I thought he did a lot of good stuff today, and he showed a lot, and he gave us a chance to win. And you know, if he can build on that performance, because the mistakes he made today are so correctable. I mean, I'm not talking about tough stuff, just easy corrections. He'll make those corrections. And then now the thing is, you got to follow up the same kind of performance next week. Okay, and that, that's it. That's the challenge. And this is the first time we just saw one quarterback from you guys. I mean, is, is Alex kind of taking that step, you think, to, to be the guy? Well, I mean, I, you saw Mason uh, in, a, in a situational play today. But uh, sure. I thought that Alex, uh, you know, had the, uh, had, the, had the kind of week that, you know, he deserved to get the start. And, you know, we, we had a package for Mason today. Uh, we were going to use it at the, at the right times. And I thought that, you know, Alex, though, showed today that he's a guy that gives us a chance to win. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Coach.